Hello and welcome to Sardine Programming 5. Today I have some interesting things to show you and we're stepping up the speed of progress today. Last time I talked about I wanted to have the AI controlled fish follow a parametric function and then the idea was just to have them manage their acceleration themselves. This way a fish could move in a sinus wave if its acceleration followed a cosine function. The benefit to doing this is that if the fish can only impact its acceleration then all the fish could be simulated with traditional physics. And I would like a true to physics simulation like that. So I tried it, and there's a big problem with it. I debugged it for hours, and I ended up making this graph tracking a fish's position. That's the blue graph here. Its velocity, that's the orange graph. And its acceleration, that's the gray graph. Uh, notice how the position shifts south over time even though there seems to be no problem with the acceleration and velocity. This still happens. And I, I, as I said, I debugged it for a long time and I think this is an artifact from doing a relatively low uh, FPS simulation. Even, even with 60 FPS, which in the gaming sense is not that low, the delta between frames are still about 18, no, 17 milliseconds. If the simulation then spends one more frame on the negative side of the sinus wave, and, and does so consistently, then this sort of problem will start to build up. That's really unfortunate, but th that means we have to make a different system. So instead, now, instead of having fish only manage their acceleration, now they manage their own x and y values. So they're, they're required to have these two methods, and the fish only implement the physics they absolutely need. Take a look at the player fish, for instance has both a velocity and acceleration vector because it needs physics to be convincing at least. Uh, then we have the straight fish that just swims in a straight line. It only stores its direction and its speed and it doesn't need anything else to be convincing in its pattern because it's simple. And then we have the sinus fish that moves in a sinus wave. This is exactly the same as the straight fish. However, it also has a y offset that it will calculate based on how long the fish has been around. And then when it's asked about its y value, it will return the y from the straight line and then the offset as well. And we have a fish moving in a sinus pattern that doesn't shift south or north over time. The other interesting structure I've added is the fish spawner. It will queue up fish for spawning. Maybe I can take out the outline here. There we go. And it does so on a timer. The idea is that the player will either avoid the fish or eat them as they swim by, depending on the, the type of fish. And then finally the world makes sure that any fish outside of bounds get removed, but only if they are outside the bounds by more than half its width. So, that, so that's the point where the player can barely not see them when they're that's a s silly way to put it when the player can cannot see them but if they moved one pixel they the player would be able to see them um, and then fish are always spawned in this uh, sort of margin between getting removed uh, so that they can swim across the screen and then get removed when they reach the other side um, so let's let's have a look at what the game looks like right now here we go. You will notice that I added the other fish graphics as well. I'm still contemplating on adding some of the skelly fish. Um, that could be fun if I'm in need of more, more different fish. Um, you also notice that I fished that I fished that I uh, fixed the seabed. Now there's no more jagged edges. Uh, that's really nice. But that is all I had to show you. Maybe, yeah, we see the sinus fish here. I don't know if I pointed that out before, but that's the only sinus fish in the game uh, right now, and there's no interaction. So that is all I had to show you uh, for now. If you want the code or have any questions, please do tell me in the comments. Also, uh, feedback on the speed of this video would be really appreciated. Thank you for watching my video. Bye.